Allen, North Carolina, and uh, I'm happy to be here to run the Brown Jug and Deer over today. Uh, got into racing back when I was a teenager, and then I got out of it for motocross racing for a number of years, and got back in it about 11 years ago when my son wanted to start doing hair scrambles. I run a number of North Carolina hair scrambles and run uh, 11 years with them a lot of other uh, hair scrambles around with different organizations. Then I fell in love with uh, what they call uh, Sprint Enduros. So I run the U.S. Sprint Enduros the last two years and was able to run, since I retired from the fire department, I uh, was able to run all the U.S. Sprint Enduros in 2022. Uh, so I traveled over 3,300 miles to uh, all those different locations. And it's a two-day race. You race six on Saturday and six on Sunday. Shortest time out of two days wins. And uh, I was lucky enough and blessed enough to be able to win all eight of those, which uh, qualified me to run the world championship in July. And I ran the uh, U.S. Sprint Enduro so when I won all those, I ended up winning the regional championship there. So I went on uh, in July to Virginia and uh, crazy weather conditions and uh, ended up uh, winning the world championship in uh, Virginia on the U.S. Sprint Enduro. So needless to say, I've been very blessed and uh, at 62 years old, probably riding better than I've ever rode in my life. But uh, yeah, Lord the glory to uh, my ability to be able to do that and uh, got a wife back home and a mother and dad that uh, supports me and uh, they're 87 and 89 my parents are and uh, they root me on from home because they can't travel with me now anything special you do to train for these events because obviously as we get older not quite as agile as we were, but is there anything special that you go about to try to create the right environment for not only your body, but your bike? And well, uh, being a firefighter, uh, we train every day. We work out every day and everything. And so when I retired, there's one thing I wanted to do is not get you know, out of shape and sit around. So I just uh, continued working out in some manner. So that way I can stay at the uh, level that I was at because I can actually run at 62 years old. I can run a hair scramble for an hour and a half or two hours, or I can run an enduro six on Saturday and six on Sunday and still be able to go do something on my, my job Monday. So uh, I was, like I've been real blessed. I try to you know do right, eat right, and just to try to stay fit. I ride, uh, I've got two Husqvarna's. I've got a, a Husqvarna 350 and I've got a Husqvarna 250. Uh, Pete Novacek, uh, he's my mechanic and uh, he's back home and uh, he keeps my bikes in top shape. I can say out of 96 starts and finishes out of the eight uh, sprint enduros, didn't have any failures at all on my bike at all. Uh, so that's 96 starts and finishes out of eight races, and like I said, ended up with the regional championship. So extremely pleased with my equipment, and uh, just uh, like a guy told me one time, he said, your bike always look like it just rolled off the showroom floor. I said, well, I may have a problem at the racetrack, but I ain't bringing a problem. There you go. So great equipment, good maintenance on that equipment, and. Um, yourself as in shape as an athlete as you possibly can which are that of course with the board strength yes you know spurring you on right deal. yeah so we appreciate you being here and wishing you um, very well tomorrow in the enduro race here with the brown jug well i appreciate it i appreciate the opportunity to talk with you and uh, it's my pleasure I'll be racing tomorrow in the 60 plus uh, B class. It's, uh, 2018 350 Husqvarna four stroke. We run this tomorrow about 60 miles with all the different tests.
this the bike that you uh, won all those championships on? Yes, it is. Won the regional and the uh, world championship on this bike. Awesome. So nobody stands a chance with that one, huh? I don't know. We're going to put our best foot forward tomorrow. I customized this trailer myself by special order. It was seven foot ceilings in it. It's got air conditioning, uh, sink, couch makes a bed. And uh, got special effects lighting overhead. Wow. I can haul two race bikes in here. Or I can a Harley or whatever in here also. See this guys, this is a potential. Couch makes the bed, sleeps one comfortably. Pretty neat setup. Put that clothes on board water. There is a sink carry built on, out of a toolbox. Carry on the tools. Custom made sink out of the toolbox. It's got five gallon fresh water. I'm Mark Buchanan, Denver, North Carolina, number 169. We got Dan and Greg Short from back home coming to race with us today. They live up in Denver area. Greg and Dan, cameraman. Hey man, how are y'all? He's running 50 plus. Greg's running 30 plus. 50 plus class, gonna be the biggest class here today. 50 C's, got more people than anybody. Probably 60, 65 people. I'm running uh, 60 plus, and I think we got about 36 people in that class today. So uh, get ready to go for it. Y'all have a good day.